How about you with this kebab? Hey, we're taking some cold. Cool! Our march to freedom is irreversible. We must not allow fear to stand in our way. Universal suffrage on a common voter's road in a united, democratic, and non-racial South Africa is the only way to peace and racial harmony. Wellingtons, but here in Southern Africa, they are known as gumboots. Originally made from craft skin leather, they are remarkably versatile, water resistant, durable, and feature as a safety footwear popularly worn by African miners in South Africa during the apartheid era. Gum boots became popular when miners used them to perform a silent form of protest dance, the gum boot dance. Before we move on, welcome to the platform where we aim to educate and inform you about Namibia and Africa in general. Become our global audience by subscribing with notifications on. It helps us in a huge way. Thank you. Now back to the video. Some of you might find it baffling as to why Africans dance, even in times of challenges. Well, my answer to you is that we dance not only to move, let loose, connect or express, but we dance together in order to heal, unite, to remember of how we speak of a common identity of how we exist and that we are free. The 19th century were a turbulent time in Southern Africa, but also a defining time in its music and dance. Some of these dance might have caught your ear or eye presently. Radio was widely used as a means of reinforcing tribal identity. Regardless of the challenges, Music and dance found its way through the gloomy atmosphere of conflict. Gambu dancing and bubblegum music carried a message that better days were no longer far from sight. Then, Mandela's release from Robben Island no longer seemed as a distant dream. And for this reason, dance was converted into strong resistance. Gumboot dance was born of the experience of mine workers from South Africa and neighboring countries. This dance was a coded language used by the miners who came from diverse cultures and stripped of a common spoken voice by the colonizers. Reflecting back as a child, I'll remember my uncle once told me about it. They would be gone for months on end working underground in darkness, damp and harsh conditions. They were not allowed to talk to one another. Oh yes, so they created the gumboot dance to communicate. At the time, I was not too old to understand, nor too young to comprehend, but either way, it stuck with me till present day. I can only but imagine the need to be free was so strong that they created this social dance, a silent form of protest that unified them for a common purpose. And this is how it was done. Clapping of hands and slapping them against their gum boots while stomping and improvising complex rhythm, just as it was done by our ancestors. The rise of gum boot dance brought about a sense of unity and reinforced African identity. It is as old as our remembered history, 
and we cannot exclude ourselves from the idea that the present day always contains the past and the past shapes our identity. After independence though, the dance evolved slightly and became a popular aspect of entertainment. Suddenly, everybody is doing it. From the streets of Soweto to the theaters of university, it spread to various parts of the world where it is performed predominantly as a distinctive dance form featuring in some film and movie. Even Alison Lowe wrote a book about it titled Dancing in the Gumboots. Today, the dance continues to evolve, grow, and spread. All right, besties, tell me, when do you dance? Please drop your responses in the comments and be sure to check out any of our video or playlist. You might find one or two you like. This helps us in a huge way. If you've made it this far into the video, you're probably interested in our content. Feel free to subscribe with post notifications on. Let us know if you have any suggestions. Thank you all so much. Till we meet again, take care of yourselves and families. We appreciate you all. Bye besties.